Thank you. Here's um, getting close to the final question in respect for mm -hmm. your time. But what are you doing now? I asked you this two years ago, but what are you doing right now that will help people like me and other leaders be better on LinkedIn or be better, period? Um, I'm asking that for two folks. I want you to really tell us how to get a hold of your book. Okay. Okay. And I also want to know, I mean, things like, are you giving keynotes? Are you teaching classes? What are you doing? Tell us, what are you doing right now that helps? Yeah, no, I'm so glad you said that. Thank you for asking, because that is my brand. You know, I'm always wearing yellow to be positive, to help people have clarity and help them put themselves out there. Like, because I was stuck on the sidelines for five years. I, I did talk about that in my other episode. Right now, what am I doing? I am loving just getting out there. So I have two podcasts. One of them's coming back. The single one's coming back. I put on hiatus when I started this other one and writing the book. So I'm podcasting mm -hmm. weekly. And every month I give, um, I scaled back. Two years ago I was doing everything, and now I've kind of had the happy medium because I was doing too much. So once a month I have a LinkedIn audio room called Establish Yourself. It's how to brand your authority on LinkedIn. People can come. It's usually the, it's like the la third Thursday of every month. I'll have it on my profile. And I invite people in and we network and people can come up and ask me branding questions or I'll help them look at their LinkedIn profile and say, hey, what about this? What about that? So they can get some real time help. So I do that. Also, once another part of it, I join Michelle Raymond. Also, our mutual friend, Brenda Meller, who's a LinkedIn expert as well. We have a LinkedIn audio room called LinkedIn Trifecta Talk. Same thing. We help you with personal branding, LinkedIn, and Michelle in the B2B growth space. So hmm. um, answer we, you can answer questions. We give you kind of like free help because we really want people to get unstuck and on their way. So I'm also going to be launching some uh, – I'm still writing my second book, and I'm going to be launching some more um, master – in this fall, I'm going to be out, um, launching some master class trainings and, and a cohort to – I just need to scale my impact. Like you've been, I've been in business for a while, but now I realize like most of us, how do I scale what I do to reach more people and help more experts really build their brands and just really grow their future is what I'm helping them do. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so are you doing keynotes? Or are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing keynotes. I am speaking. I got to speak at my alma mater several months ago. So I do do speaking okay. Okay. And um, I love training, doing workshops too. I love to teach. So I like, I do one-on-one -on -one right now. I'm going to be doing cohorts, some masterclass trainings. And then um, I'm doing a lot. Now, here's the thing. When you're building your brand, there's either a desire to stay hidden or once you get that clarity, you're like, oh, I got to get out there. Just like we talked about Gary yeah, Vee. Yeah, you, yeah. But you, you risk burning out, overdoing it. You've got to protect yourself. The oxygen mask theory, when we travel, I always thought as a kid, why is the mom supposed to put her mask on first and not the kid? Now I get it. Let so, me die. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you got to protect your fellows first. But you got to, this is what I teach my clients because they're like, why well, I, I want to do nothing or I want to do all the things. I'm like, well, what's the happy medium that's going to sustain you? They use a the word on LinkedIn a lot called consistency. That's okay, but I like the word commitment. You have a commitment to yourself, a commitment to the person that you are here mm. for to help, but also commitment to know that I've got to do this on a basis that'll keep me committed and sustainable. Because I all, I, I went from doing nothing to doing too much. Last year, I was I hit the wall a little bit. I was like, oh, I can't do all. So we have to protect yeah. ourselves and, and know, look, we're only human, we can only do so much. But building the brand is that asset that just grows and, and pays off like when you're sleeping people know you and stuff so it there is a payoff for stuff like that mm, wonderful wonderful i tell you you i'm glad we got to do this again and i don't want to wait two years again because there's still more that you can teach and all that 